Hello there, and welcome to lesson three on this series on musical electronics for Arduino. Uh, this particular lesson is going to be a little bit of a digression um, in that what we're going to be making is have a light uh, blink continuously at a particular rate, and uh, then when the button's pressed, have the light blink a little bit faster. And I say it's a digression because it's not really... Um, this series is going to be building towards making the Arduino into a, like a little musical instrument, and this is not directly uh, related to that. So if you're only interested in watching the series is how to use Arduino for music, uh, you can skip this lesson. However, the concept, the programming concepts that are involved here uh, are going to be used over and over. Uh, so if you are new to programming with Arduino, then I uh, recommend following along. Uh, but if you skip it, and just move on to the next ones, you won't... the future lessons are not going to be relying on this. So, uh, let's get started on creating our blinking light. I'm going to comment out these two uh, methods so that uh, we're not using the simple light switch or the button tone anymore. And I'm going to create a new method called um, button blink. and then uh, create that down here and uh, say also okay and now Create a void blink. I'll just pass it no arguments for now. Um, we'll be upgrading this later. And then in my blink method, uh, take this digital read line again. Let's just copy that in here to see if the button is pressed. And if it is, then we will um, blink the light at one rate and if not, then we will blink the right light at another rate. Uh, so rather than putting in all of our uh, blink actual blinking code here, uh, actually this this method should be called button blink. I'm just gonna from here call a new method, just that's simply called blink. Okay, and then here void blink. And this method, this delegated method, will be responsible for the actual blinking of the light. So, digital right LED high, next line delay, and uh, here I'll, I'll just put in uh, 1000 for now. And then copy these two lines and change this high to a low and leave this delay as is. Uh, so uh, actually right yeah so right now uh, how this blink method is going to work is first it turns the LED on so uh, sends a high to this output pin then it's going to wait for 1000 milliseconds or one second so during this time, the Arduino is not going to be doing anything. And then once this delay is finished, then it'll turn the LED off by sending a, a low voltage uh, out it, uh, out its, on its output pin, and then wait for another second, uh, 1,000 seconds, uh, or 1,000 milliseconds. And then because this blink is being continuously called, uh, after this is done, it'll go back up to here, turning the light uh, back on. So it's on, wait, off, wait, on, wait, off, wait. And we know it's going to continuously loop because this is called from button blink, which is called from our loop method. Alright, so if I run this, upload this right now, just I'm going to check that it works. My light is blinking uh, one second, at a rate of one second, and it's technically responding to the button press, but it's, it's not actually changing how it blinks. And the reason for that is it's always set to 1000, 
So instead of these hard coding this 1000 in here, I'm going to put in a variable and uh, I'm going to call it speed and use that here as well. And then inside inside of the parentheses right here in uh, inside of blink, I'm going to type in int speed. So that means rather than delaying a set time of a thousand milliseconds, uh, I'm going to delay by a variable amount of time based on what's passed into this blink method. So then in right here I can say uh, put 1000 for actually sorry 250 milliseconds so uh, a quarter of a second delay if the button is pressed and a 1000 millisecond or one second delay when the button is not pressed. So I verify this and I upload and now my uh, light is blinking slowly. I press the button and hold it, and now the light blinks faster. And you, you can't see this because I'm just showing you the code, um, but if everything's working, that's, that's what will be happening. Now, uh, the next uh, change or improvement I'd like to make to this is rather than having this button blink be always a quarter of a second when pressed and a thousand, uh, to be able to make these variables also. So uh, I'll change this 250 to fast, and this 1000 to slow, and then uh, pass those in as arguments. So int fast, int slow. Uh, so now, then here in this button blink, I can pass in my fast speed of 250 and 1000. And this will work the same as before. So in this loop, it'll call the button blink uh, constantly, pass in 250 and 1000. And so that 250 will be here, the 1000 will be here. And that uh, fast variable is then sent to blink, which then goes to here. So when the button's pressed, it'll be this number. And when it is not pressed, uh, then it will be this number. So uh, once again, I'll verify upload and it works the same as before. The, but, uh, the light is blinking slowly until I press the button and then it blinks uh, quickly. Now one thing you might also note is that the light doesn't immediately change state the moment I press the button. So if I uh, press it while the light is on, or depending on when I press the button, there might be a slight delay uh, in the speed at which it blinks. Right, that is it for this lesson. Thank you very much for... Uh, uh, so that is actually it for the new content on this lesson. This was basically just a little bit of uh, practice using these delay methods, or this uh, delay line right here, which can be very useful in processes that occur over time. And it's also some practice passing arguments through, through functions to make them a little bit more variable. Uh, so like in this case, if I wanted to change the uh, rates, like the, the fast rate down to 125 and this to 500, um, all I have to do is change it in one place. I don't, if that's right up here in my loop code, I don't have to go digging through it. Or if I had multiple versions of, of blinking, like say it was to change based on things that happened in the program, uh, all I have to do is, is make these variables and, and change those. I just have to call this method with different numbers. Uh, so being, getting used to arguments and passing information around between different functions is really essential in making your code more readable. Now, one uh, challenge task that you can uh, take on as, uh, as a little optional challenge if you're working ahead is to play our tone, that is this, this note we're using in the button tone, and to have that beep along with our blinking light. So whenever the light's blinking, the uh, speaker is making sound as well. Uh, and so it's either going to be happening at a fast rate or at a slow rate. Uh, so we'll just leave that as a little challenge for you to figure out how that works if you are interested. Uh, but in either case, whether you build that or not, that is it for this lesson. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.